Hello my friends. The 2-axis electronic lid screw project I announced some time ago is ready for use. Electronic lid screw is a controller that powers motors that control the metal lathe. This particular one can power two motors, so two axes, read position of the spindle using the rotary encoder, has a display, has different modes, for example it can cut a thread in automated fashion, move the axes per revolution or at a constant speed, and also cut cones, spheres, and serve as a dividing head. To build this controller, first of all, you need a PCB. You can order them online for 20 euros with delivery from China. Beside the PCB, you would also need the components that go onto the PCB. So that would be the display, the potentiometers, position switches, buttons, and a few LEDs. Of course, you would also need Arduino Mega, connectors, plastic standoffs, you would need either access to a 3D printer or you can also order 3D prints online and the files for the models are available on GitHub. You also see here the little metal inserts, this thing, which is a joystick locking in four positions and the manual pulse generator for 100 pulses per revolution. Once you have soldered all the components onto the PCB, connected the Arduino Mega, push the PCB into the case and fix it there using these nylon standoffs which go into the metal inserts you can see down there. Then it all gets covered with the lid. Now very careful with these nylon nuts because they break easily. Yep. Now when the case is printed this wall is one piece but then you can make a cut over here and then this door can be opened giving you access to the Arduino Mega USB port for programming. Also on GitHub you can find this file that you can just print and stick as a front panel. Now when this is assembled, we just flip it to the back side and you can see that there are labels which connectors go where. On top it's Z axis, then it's X, then it's the encoder, power supply, hand wheel encoder and the joystick. For the hand wheel the connections are very simple. It's uh, ground 5 volts and then two signal lines. Same for the joystick. This is the ground and the rest are the signal wires which are shorted to ground when the corresponding button is pressed. For example, the first signal line should go to this button. The second signal line is the down direction. So when I push the joystick down, it actually presses on the top button. So the top button should be connected as the signal line. Ideally you would want a separate power supply for this controller because it's much more convenient to turn it on and off independently from the lathe. The motors are still powered via the lathe in my case. Now as you see there are a lot of modes here and sub-modes, so a lot of things you can do and it's not trivial to figure out how they actually work. In the GitHub repo on the front page I have a lot of very short videos explaining how to do basic operations. So overall I'm very happy with this controller. I am having a lot of fun using the joystick and I think it's very natural to work on the lathe with the joystick. I also like the precision that this encoder gives and also that you can spin it by a large amount holding this knob. I also like the cones very much because they allow to make very nice chamfers using any cutter that you have. So overall I really like this little controller. I think it's very functional and it's very easy to use once you figure out the thought process that went into designing it. And I want to give a big thumbs up and a big thank you to the folks who wrote the code for this controller. In terms of price, you're looking for 20 euro for the PCBs, then 120 euro for all of the electrical and mechanical components here, and then additionally you have to somehow source the 3D prints. Of course you also need wires, best be shielded another 10 to 20 euro. With all of the small bits and pieces it can be up to 200 euro to build this. Is it worth it? I'm not sure, but I can definitely say that it's a lot of fun and it actually works. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.